This is the third school that was built here in the settlement, built mm -hmm. in 1861. And it was built because of the overcrowding of the other schools but at, that were at the other end of the settlement, because the people still had to walk down from here to go to the schools, the church, the businesses mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. So this one was built here for the people at this end of the settlement. Okay. And it is the only school that remains in Canada that was built by former fugitive slaves wow. that's still existing as a school. Wow. So it's something that we are very proud of. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah, just one of those beautiful, beautiful buildings. So it looks like a church, doesn't it? It does. Yes. Yeah. So the other schools, they're no longer no, standing. No, they're not. Okay. No, yeah. So it's good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So this is the original yes. wood and everything? A lot of it is. 90% of the outside is 1861 wood. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nice, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot lovely. of the original materials. Yeah. It's very nice. Very wow. nice. Yeah. So I tell really me like about it. who would be here, what grades would be in the school? Uh, grades 1 to 10 were taught here at one time, and then 1 to 8. So there were 100 students with one teacher here at one time, if you can imagine. Wow. And, and they're complaining today about yeah. class overload. Class sizes. <laughs> but yeah, they are. And as you can see, the smaller desks are over here, grades yeah. 1 and 2, and then eventually they get much bigger. So we have it set up for maybe 55 students now. And it closed in 1967 as a school, so now we do mm. interpretive school programs. What's that? Yeah. What do you mean, interpretive? Uh, when students come, actually this is the first class photo that was taken in oh, 1910. Wow. Oh. And when students come, they have the persona of someone in that photograph. Ah. So they have to do a little bit of research on their character, and then it, they have to develop their own character. But we give them all of that information. Right. So when they come, we do a very typical lesson. They, you know, that's the girl's entrance, that's the boy's entrance, so they will do that. And then we will start the day by singing God Save the King, mm. as opposed to Queen. Mm do the Lord's Prayer, a Bible reading, health inspection, and then away we go. And then at the end of the day, a descendant of someone in that photograph will come and share memories mm -hmm. about going to school here, Buxton, that sort of thing. And it's really neat because some of the classes get so into it that they want to go over to the cemetery to see where they're buried, mm -hmm. you know? So it's really... A full circle. It is. It yeah. really is. It's almost like a closure for them. Yeah. But, I, but I'm so glad to see them, you know, taking so much ownership of who I am. Yeah. So it's really kind of a neat program. And this would be the main heating source yes. in the school? Yes. This is not from the school, but oh. was from another building in the settlement, but okay. what would have been here then. And this is a scuttle of coal that the teachers had to mm. get. Mm. And there is a lean-to at the back that housed the coal and the wood for the stove. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those were the libraries, these two cabinets. Oh, wow. That was the library yeah, of the, the day. Library. Wow. Yeah, the library. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Compared and to the libraries we have oh now. Oh, I know. Yes, yes. And every and desk has some chalk on it. Yes, and everyone has a slate. So they, everybody has their own oh. slate and duplicate arithmetic books and uh, readers and that, they, that we use as well. Even though it says fourth reader, it's for grade seven. So this is a grade seven mm -hmm. program that we do. And is this kind of how the books would look? Yes, it looks then? just like that. Just like that. Yep, just like that. Yep. Yeah, and that one was 25 cents. Really? Almost 25 cents, yes. Yeah. And each student had to purchase their own books? Nope. I came from... Um, Oh, uh, there were the um, oh people in Toronto. I, they would bring them down. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. But I have to read you this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we do have a lot of original materials, and this is the teacher's desk, and this is a spelling book. Ah. From 1879. I'm not very good at spelling. I have well, to this admit. is a very <laughs> typical. Do you remember spelling dictation? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is a very typical, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Very typical sentence for spelling dictation. Are you ready? Uh, I'm okay. ready. Okay. Okay. These men, Republicans from civility, who publish rhetorical panegyrics on massacres, and who reduced plunder to a system of ethics, are as ready to preach slavery as anarchy. Wow. Grade four in 1879. Wow. <laughs> and people said that <laughs> I black know. people weren't very smart Hello. back then. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this shows you the quality yeah. of education that was being taught here and how 
uh, we had the reason why people were coming here to seek out this good quality mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. Like 1879, they were teaching this, you know, so look at what they're teaching today, yeah, yeah. you know, so it's just amazing um, what, what they did achieve, uh -huh. you know, because when they came, they were absorbing it like sponges, yeah. you know, because they were not allowed to receive one in the South, so now they had that opportunity and they just sort of, took you know, advantage oh, of they it. really did yeah, yeah. And, and did quite well as yeah. well, so. I'm mm. glad I came. So when people come to the museum, we show a 20-minute video to give people a good overview of the founding of the settlement. Mm. And then we talk about um, slavery. And um, a lot of people aren't aware that it started out in Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, they know it started out in Africa, but it was the tribal chiefs mm -hmm. that were going inland. Because when people think of slavery, they think of the, you know, the